going on YouTube? Harlow Kicks here, and in today's video, we're taking a look at the Adidas Yeezy Boost 700 in the Inertia colorway. All right, guys, so the Yeezy 700 Boost in the Inertia colorway dropped on March 9th for the retail price of 300 US dollars. I managed to get mine at SneakerCon this year, actually, which was a huge deal to me. It was my first ever SneakerCon. I got to meet Seth Fowler there. And then I managed to pick these up, so there's a really cool story behind me getting this pair, uh, which makes them even more special to me. Um, but with all that aside, the shoe on its own is super dope, and let's take a look at some of the details that make it that way, guys. So the first thing you'll notice about the Yeezy 700 Inertia when you find it in hand is the fact that the shoe is a lot less gray than it appears to be in images. I would actually argue that the shoe takes on more of a blue tint than it does a gray tint, which I think is absolutely awesome. There's a lot of different color elements going on here. Uh, a lot of the suede and the mesh has this really blue uh, tinted vibe going, which really makes the color uh, of the shoe pop more than you probably think if you just thought it was gray. So that's a big thing that I really enjoy about this shoe. Um, it definitely looks in pictures like it's an all gray sneaker, but the different blue elements, um, the suede on the toe box, the tongue, and just scattered all throughout the upper really brings out the shoe in a really cool way. Uh, another big thing, of course, are your drips right here, which are painted in this kind of peach orange color, which really stands out nicely. And combining the upper, the peach drips, and of course this nice creamy bottom, uh, it really just brings the whole shoe together, and I think it's a really, really good look uh, when it all comes together at the end of the day. Um, the big, another big thing about the 700 that I absolutely love are the different materials that you'll find on it. Um, starting down at the toe box and wrapping around onto the medial and lateral side of the shoe, you'll find a really premium, nice, soft feeling suede. Uh, on the toe box and on the sides of the toe box as well as on the medial and lateral side which houses the three stripe and 3m you'll find uh, a certain kind of mesh each one being in a different color which i think is really cool which is a different sort of bluish gray shade uh, and then if we look back here around the lining uh, where your foot will go into the shoe there's another kind of mesh that you'll see there which i think is really cool as well and on the back of course you'll see some more suede uh, and even here on the side with the 3M, more suede there. So there's a whole bunch of different materials, uh, including the leather around here on the lace lids, which I think just makes the shoe feel really premium and certainly makes it close to being worth the $300 price tag on it. Um, the laces are kind of a standard gray color, which kind of molds in with the rest of the shoe. And a big thing uh, with the 700 for all the colorways is of course the 3M elements that you'll find on two tabs on the top of the shoe down here, up here, um, more up uh, to the top of the tongue, excuse me. On the medial and lateral sides, you'll see these two little windows, which both have 3M on them there. And at the very back, there are these dots on either side of the shoe that are also 3M. So when you hit this thing with the flash, uh, it really stands out and I love that. And of course, the 3M stripes right here on this mesh panel. So there's a whole lot going on with the 700. Um, I dare to say that this colorway is actually my favorite, even over the Wave Runner. I think the Wave Runner is a dope shoe, don't get me wrong. But these, I think, really bring the silhouette together a lot more with the, with the Wave Runners. There's a lot of different color blocking going on, which kind of dismantles the silhouette a little bit, if you ask me. Uh, this kind of more uniform color really helps the silhouette of the, of the 700 stand out, which I absolutely love. And it's a lot more understated of a shoe as well. So I absolutely love it, guys. The one thing I would say is a bit of an issue for me is creasing. When it comes to the sizing on these, um, I ordered a half size up because uh, I heard they fit a little bit small. I'm happy that I did that because it fits very comfortably. The only problem I have is a little bit of creasing that takes place um, right here and right here. Um, not that big of a deal to me. And you can just take a hair dryer to the um, midsole to kind of sort that out. But other than that, I have no complaints. It's an extremely comfortable shoe uh, with having a full boost midsole. So no complaints on comfort either, guys. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say on these. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. This is a super dope shoe. I'm super glad to have it. Uh, I know I'm a little bit late on the review, but uh, better late than never, right? <laughs> anyway, guys, hope you have a great rest of your day. Um, enjoy the on-foot footage that you'll see on these now. Peace. What we do here is go back, 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 back.